Hi, everybody. I am Lamar Townsend, and I have a food review, I guess. My first food review. I've got my silverware here. All right, r real silverware, not no paper. Nothing wrong with paper, but I, you guys know I like my, you guys know who follow this channel, I like my, like, you know, decor in the kitchen. Um, today I have a food review. This is going to be a mini review because I'm not going to eat all of it on camera because it's a lot of food. I don't even know if I'm going to eat, be able to eat it all. But I have oxtails. So, these are the oxtails right here. It looks like mixed in with, these look like plantains. This is rice and beans and then this is cabbage. All things very yummy. All things I'm going to eat. Um, I've never tried oxtails, y'all. This is this will be my first time trying oxtails. Something told me it would be really fun to try it on camera, and it also is very saucy. So I have like my paper towel here. Um, so the backstory as to why I decided to randomly get oxtails today. I have not eaten any lunch today, and I decided yesterday um, that um, I, I was going to get oxtails today. Now I've heard for years I am not caribbean or jamaican or anything like that um so this is Car 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 caribbean or caribbean food um i have a lot of caribbean friends um so i always hear about caribbean food and things of that nature although um i may have some caribbean ancestry in me for all i know you know i don't know but um like i said i have a lot of caribbean friends i've been around you know caribbean culture for a long time and you know caribbean food is so good but I don't have it a lot. I would say I don't have it really at all. You guys know my favorite type of food is pretty much Asian, you know, Japanese type of food. I love Asian Japanese type of food because it's light. Um, it's usually very like um, pasta, rice based or um, vegetable based once again. Um, and it's very versatile. You know, uh, you can kind of eat it breakfast, dinner, lunch kind of thing. All right, and I personally love Asian, you know, cuisine, Japanese cuisine, and things of that nature. Um, but I like all types of food, and I'm in this whole kind of thing where I want to, you know, I'm 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 becoming healthier in my 30s. Although this may not be so healthy, although there's worse options. But I'm also wanting to try different things, different foods, different cultures in my 30s. Right, so. I was watching a Twitch creator the other day, and they were in the chat. They were talking about oxtails. And for some reason, my mouth started to water the way they were talking about it. And then I ended up seeing a meme later that day yesterday talking about the difference in oxtails between the Jamaican Caribbean way and the, I guess, Southern way. The Southern way is more saucy and gravy, and it usually comes with, like, I think a side of rice, bean, or, you know, um rice green like greens and uh mac and cheese the greens and mac and cheese are very uh southern i'm basically from the south i'm from virginia so um and then the caribbean way is 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 it's darker the in texture means meaning more seasons to me when it, when it's like dark like that um and it just comes usually with rice so i think based on the color Although it is a bit saucy, this to me looks like the Caribbean version, the authentic Caribbean version of oxtails. So I'm very excited about that. Um, I live, you know, Virginia is actually very multicultural. Also, we live very close to D.C. D.C. on a good day when there's no traffic is about 30 minutes away. When there's traffic, which usually there, there's traffic definitely right now. And there's traffic, you know, pretty much from, you know, 4 to 5 a.m., you know, up until 8 p.m. You know, so it's it takes about an hour to get to D.C. at that point. But those who have been to D.C., you know, D.C. has like literally everything in terms of culture, uh, foods. So that is one good thing about Virginia. Um, so, yeah, I based on that meme I saw and the oxtails look in the in the meal look good in that in that meme. And then based on the Twitch people, you know, the Twitch creator and, and the people in their comments and what they were saying, I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and give oxtails a try for the first time and see how I like it. And so I just got my food. I just came back from getting my food, running errands. Actually, I went to the gym, ran some errands, got my food. Um, I am shiny because I actually took a shower and I put oils on my face. No, no. I went to the gym, came home, showered, and then I put my, my moisturizers on, which is why I'm shiny. 
And then I ran my errands and got my food. So my food is still fresh. You saw you may have saw the steam coming off of it. So I'm really excited to try it. I'm, I'm going to try just one oxtail with you all because I don't want to eat the whole thing. Although if it's good, child, I might be tempted to eat the whole thing in one go. So let's go ahead and see what I think about these oxtails, child. Now, I will say, um, I, I don't think I've ever had oxtails, or if I have, it was a very long time ago. I'm usually someone that likes to meet, or in terms of meat, chicken is my go-to in fish. Love a good fish meal, love a good chicken meal. Anything outside of that, it's a, it's a rare occasion for me, so I am excited to see how this is going to go. Now, I don't know how you're supposed to eat these. These look like, you know, the types of things that you could eat with your fingers. But because this is YouTube and I want to be a classy human being, I'm going to use my fork. And I want to take... Which one do I want to take? Do I want to take this one? It's very bony. All right. Smells really good. You can definitely smell the seasoning. It smells like like a jerk seasoning or um Caribbean seasoning. It tastes kind of like rib. Actually, it's very good. I wasn't sure of the texture. I don't want to talk with my mouth open. I wasn't sure of the texture, but it's actually quite chewy and soft. It's, it is bony. So you want to be careful when chewing. It is bony. This is easier to eat with your fingers, y'all. Um, let me have one more bite. Let me have like a meaty bite. I really like it. Also, the thing was, this was really expensive. So, so for being over a twenty. Really a $30 meal. Well, this alone was over $20, but I had a drink and I did add a Jamaican patty, one Jamaican patty, beef patty, I think. Um, I say oxtails, I'm here for them. They're really good. They remind me of like a beef tenderloin or like a, a, like a softer, chewier pork tenderloin. Um, and almost like a, a little like lamb. I haven't had lamb in years. So I'm going to enjoy this oxtail, you guys. I also got a Jamaican. I've never had this before. Jamaican Irish moss vanilla drink. It got sauce all over it. So I had to wipe it down. But I'm going to enjoy my meal. This is my first time having a meal like this. And I give it, I definitely give it probably a nine out of ten. Um, I would like to taste different var variations. I would say maybe a nine out of 10. I would have liked a bit more sauce. Actually, I'm a sauce person. So that's, I'm going to only probably knock it one point off for that reason. But everything else is delicious. I don't want this to get cold because I am going to upload this video right after I, I actually fin fin finish filming it so I can genuinely enjoy my food. But that was really good, you guys. Wasn't at all what I expected. For some weird reason, I expected the meat to be a little bit harder. And um, I expected the meat to be a little bit harder and dry based on the color. But I could tell that it was a little saucy. So I was that's one reason why I like sauce. Because it it kind of like if you when you let the sauce simmer and uh tenderized it makes it makes it more tender and you know what i'm saying juicy and soft so was surprised by that one meat that i will say is underrated and i have not had this in years probably thanksgiving of like 2006 is deer meat my grandfather and my family my dad side of the family hunts deers and I remember one time and a couple times when i was young my granddad made deer meat 
would love to like have some deer meat that would be so delicious um or even like a deer meat slim jim but also like i don't condone the murdering of animals so anyways with that being said it is what it is this was delicious and let me know what other foods you guys maybe want me to try um i do have certain allergies i am allergic to um certain things you know so you know if, if it's something i'm allergic to probably won't do it but for the most part you know i am willing to try i won't i, I won't say almost anything but i'm willing to try some things all right <laughs> most things we'll see all right i love you guys i'm gonna enjoy my food love and light make sure you like share and subscribe and um keep in touch and follow me on all my social media pages i am also a psychic so once again if you want a reading contact me on my website lamartownsendtarot.com um love and light and i will see you guys later i just realized i spelled oxtail wrong is it I thought it was ox and then literally tail. All right. Well, I have to fix that right now. All right. And then I'll fix that in the um, thumbnail. Love you guys. See you guys in the next video.